Welcome back to another Crypto Gorilla video. Today we're gonna to be talking about upcoming token IDOs in relation to NFTs. So some of these are gonna have NFTs that I'm currently buying, some are NFTs that I'm holding, some are unreleased NFTs that you can still get whitelisted for. And then there's just gonna be those where I did the angel round. However, I will let you know every single time I've invested in a project. Now, as usual, nothing in this video is financial advice. And if you haven't already done so, would you kindly hit that subscribe button as it helps my channel grow tremendously. So so unfortunately for us NFT people, buying NFTs for the sake of buying JPEGs is still not the current meta. We just went through a huge meme coin run, both on Solana and on base, where you're seeing people post on Twitter how they turned $12 into $12 million and everybody wants to become a meme coin trader. But I do feel a lot of NFT people want to get more exposure to tokens in general, not just meme coins, because they're realizing how much more money there is in crypto compared to nfts there's a lot more liquidity there's a lot more volume and just whales in general so the profits you can make there are insane and i do feel that these token back nfts are a great entry point for a lot of these people both for token airdrops as well as the pre-sale rounds that we're seeing and that also explains why a lot of these nfts that are gonna have a token airdrop or get you into a pre-sale are holding up way better or even going up in value compared to a lot of these like blue chip projects which have just been on a downtrend. And that's because the projects have a catalyst, right? They've understood that the market runs on speculation and people are looking for money. They wanna get money. Now, one of the reasons people are FOMOing into all these presales is the success of projects like Memeland and Portal, which were literal gen wealth if you went ham on the presale. But at the same time, a lot of us are fans of Alex Becker videos, and he just posted both a tweet as well as a video going over some of the upcoming IDOs that he's looking forward to and saying how bullish he is on the next two to three months for these token launches. So today I wanted to talk about some of the IDOs that I'm looking forward to. A lot of them do have overlap with this tweet that he posted, so I am going to use this as part of this video. However, there's going to be a couple at the end that are not on this list that I am bullish for. So let's jump right into it. The first one he has here is Bloodloop. I've spoken about this one many times. They did an NFT mint already, but now they're headed towards their TGE, which is going to be launching through Cedify. So if you stake S fund, you have to do KYC and certain countries are banned. But if you're staking your S fund, you are going to be able to do the public sale for this. And like I've said many times, the good thing about Cedify rounds is when you invest in them in the public round, as long as you don't claim the tokens, if you aren't satisfied with the multiples, you get a full refund. So Becker is bullish on Bloodloop. I really like the game. I've played it multiple times. It's a really cool game. And I do think this one is going to do well. So for me, if you're staking S fund, this is a no brainer to enter just because you get that refund option if it doesn't perform to your expectations. Next up, we have games.gg. And this is a really good platform that I've used before they had all this NFT and airdrop stuff because it's good for discovering games. They also have campaigns. So I just assumed maybe one day they are going to have a token or an NFT. And it turns out that that's right. Now for full disclosure, I did invest in the angel round for this project, which I publicly posted about on Twitter. And I really Really like their product this is a gaming infrastructure play where companies can come and launch quests and then the users of this platform are going to have to complete those quests and discover their game as a result they're also going to connect and follow their socials so you're going to start to seeing a ton of info on that game all over your timeline now another thing they're doing is a gaming launch pad so it is going to give the community opportunities to get into early investment rounds just like what we're talking about in this video which we're going to see a lot more projects are going going to start doing this. So when it comes to this project, there are currently two opportunities available. The first of which is their free Genesis NFT, which is going to be a small supply of 333 NFTs. So I do expect them to do well. However, they also posted about a token airdrop for their G3 token, which you're still able to get access to. So I'm going to be releasing a video in the next two days on how to farm a lot of free airdrops. You don't have to invest any money and it's either social tasks or tasks 
asks on their website and you get tokens for absolutely free. So I don't think anybody should be fading this. However, for now, if you want to try to qualify for whitelist for their NFT, as well as qualify for their airdrop, you have to sign up to their website. So I'm going to put a link in the description down below where you can apply to get whitelist for their NFT, as well as start completing quests and earning points towards the airdrop. Next on his list, he put Chrono Forge. Now, if you don't remember this one from the last bull cycle, this one was PX Quest. And to be honest with you, I just assumed like this was another project. Okay, they launched, they did a mint, it was flippable or it wasn't. I think it was flippable and then they're never going to have a game. To my surprise, they've built an even better game than what they were pitching. I thought this was just going to be a pixel game, but it turns out this is a full game. They're even utilizing AI, so it hits both the AI and the gaming metas. So I'm really bullish on this. I actually invested in the angel round for this one. However, they also have their NFTs, which have been on an uptrend. They've 2 x in the last two weeks alone, hitting 0.6. So while I currently don't hold any of these NFTs, I am very bullish on this project. Next on the list, he added Pixelmon. Now I'm both an ambassador for Pixelmon. I've also invested in their angel round and I hold their NFTs. So I'm clearly biased, but I'm very bullish on everything Pixelmon is doing. If you want exposure to this project, there are two ways where you could farm this for free. Again, I'm going to have the guide in the near future, but you can do this through the Pixel Pals game as well as through Mon Protocol, which is more the social side of things. So you just have to follow stuff on Twitter and you're going to be accumulating points for the Mon airdrop. As for their NFTs, I'm still holding mine. I made a video a few weeks ago called NFTs I'm buying and I was buying these around 1.5 ETH. And the reason that I said was because, well, one, their airdrop, two, I believe in it, but the main one was their pre-sale because just like uh, Meme Land, I felt this was guaranteed money and I regretted not going ham on Meme Land. So I didn't want that to happen here. In total, I did. I still don't think it's enough. I still think I should have done more. It's always easier in hindsight. I got nine pre-sales for this. I should have just got like 50 because it is looking like it's going to be guaranteed money. But even after the pre-sale happened, normally there's a dump. They did slightly go down to like 1.35. However, right now they are even higher than it was before the pre-sale. So it was such a no-brainer to get into Pixelmon before the pre-sale happened. They are currently sitting at roughly 1.8 ETH at the time of filming this video. And I do think they can keep running. Now, I know if we go on Wales Market, which is a secondary OTC market to sell your allocation to a lot of these projects, there's only two sales that have happened so far for Pixelmon. I think one of the reasons for this is we have no idea when the TGE is, at least publicly. They did have Q1 in their bio, but they removed that. And the other reason is they still haven't made any announcements about exchanges. I think once they do that, we're going to see a lot more volume on this token. But even on the two sales that we've already seen, the FTV is between 1.5 and 2.5 billion dollars. So I'm considering buying more of these. I really like what they're doing with their token. They're making it the whole ETF of gaming, like they're calling it. They've partnered with over 20 games and you're going to be able to get airdrops for all of these upcoming tokens just by being a Mon token holder. Jumping back to his tweet. Next up, we have My Pet Hooligan. And if you've been following my channel, you know that I am a huge fan of the My Pet Hooligan team. I really love their game. I love the team. Like they are just awesome, but it's really been a roller coaster ride holding their NFT. It's been just ranging between 0.6 and like 1.2 ETH, which is a pretty big range when you think about it. The floor is quite thin right now. If you take a look at it on blur, like there's not that many they need to sell just to get it above that one ETH floor, which I think would be really good for the project. Volume is kind of slow. On the other hand, there's only like 13 sales in the last 24 hours. So do keep that in mind. There's always people who come in and list. However, just like Pixelmon, I think once they announce their TGE, as well as what exchange they plan on launching through that could bring a ton of bullish momentum to this project. Now, one thing I did find interesting is in Alex Becker's video about this tweet, he said this I'm going to go nuclear. I think my pet hooligan is probably going to be the best performer out of all of them, which is a huge statement when you consider the quality of some of the projects on this list. Now, just like Pixelmon in my NFTs I'm buying video, I also mentioned that I was picking up some my pet hooligans. The floor at the time when I bought them was at 0.65. Again, 
again, they ran all the way to 1.2. So you could have gotten that 2X. I held on to mine, which I also paid a premium for. I bought them between 0.7 and 0.8. And the reason for this is because I bought mine with S carats already on them. So mine on average have 4,500 S carats each, which is going to give me an even larger airdrop. And the staking has closed. So you can no longer earn these S carats. And if we just filter by 1,000 S carats, you can see that the current floor price is trading at a premium of 1.3 ETH when the actual floor we just saw in blur was 0.82. So if you've been accumulating these S carats over time, your My Pet Hooligan is worth way more than the current floor. So as we progress towards their TGE, I think things are going to get even more bullish for this project. The premiums are going to increase on the ones that have S carats. And like I said, I am very bullish on this project. Also, I know I keep saying terms like TGE, there's vestings, there's cliffs. I do have a video that I'm working on that I will drop early next week explaining all of these terms. I know a lot of people are interested in all this pre-sale stuff, but they don't necessarily understand the terms behind it. So we're gonna be taking a look at all of that in a near future video. So jumping back to his list here, here he has Gaiman. Like we won't talk about it because there's no NFT link to it. It is incredibly bullish. This is a deep in project. It is currently trading OTC at like 6 billion FDV. I think this one is gonna perform incredibly well. The next one that does have an NFT link to it is Xborg. And this one is another gaming infrastructure play. However, I know a lot of people complain about gatekeeping and hey, I can't get into these early rounds. This one, they do have a round where anybody can sign up on their website. It does close in the next 48-ish hours. So I'm going to put a link for that in the description down below. The link will get you a 5% discount if you're interested in buying some of their tokens. However, I did tweet a thread on Twitter. And if you just go reply in the comments to this saying, hey, I want a code, I'll try to drop you a code in time, which is going to give you an additional 5% off as well as guarantee you up to $5,000 into this project. So you can get 10% off if you want an even bigger discount and ticket. So if you want a 20% discount as well as a 10K ticket, up to 10K, you don't have to put 10K, then you're going to have to go and buy their NFT. NFT, the chest plate NFT, it's on Polygon and it is currently trading for roughly 0.77 ETH ETH on Polygon, right? You can see there's some that are trading for Matic. Now quickly finishing his list before we jump into some projects that aren't on here, Mochaverse, right? Everybody's bullish on Mochaverse. It's Animoca's flagship token. I'm personally not gonna go buy their NFT for four ETH. I missed the entry at 0.6 and then 1.2 and then I missed every entry. I'm gonna try to get the investment deal either through my group, Wizards Capital, or through other groups that I'm in. However, I do think a lot of people are expecting this one to perform well, depending on the terms, right? you have to see the terms in order to determine if it's a good investment opportunity. And then after he mentions Block, I think everybody knows about Block. I'm gonna have more videos about this in the near future. It's also gonna be in my farming video because it's so easy to farm for absolutely free. I don't think you should be fading this one. So definitely check it out in my next video. So a couple of projects that are not on his list. The first one is Kibi, And you might remember this one from a video, I guess like six weeks ago maybe. I covered their free mint, which I thought was going to perform well. It did. It ran all the way up to roughly 0.8 before correcting down to 0.3. And I wish I can go back in time and buy these at 0.3. They just escaped my mind, right? I just completely forgot about them. I was focused on other NFTs, gaming NFTs and meme coins and all that. However, they recently announced both the pre-sale details as well as the airdrop details. And they ran all the way back up to 1.3 ETH. They currently corrected. They're sitting around 1.3. ETH, a whale came in and dumped 10. He's still holding like another 10. So just be careful. Now, this is one of the deals that we have in Wizards Capital, my investment syndicate, the second round here that you see, but they also have a round. I believe it's this one. I mean, there's this smaller round. It says public sale. I'm guessing they're going to do some sort of codes or like public engagement for people to be able to invest in these. So I'm assuming that the NFT holders are going to be able to get in for round three, which has really good terms, 15% at TGE and then 12 months of vesting and you get to put in a decent ticket size. However, what really does it for me is the airdrop because they recently announced that they are going to be airdropping 62,000 tokens to each 
NFT holder. And I heard a rumor, I don't know if this is true, that 25% are gonna be unlocked on day one. Again, that's not verified, so don't hold me to that, but that's incredibly bullish if it actually, even if it doesn't, like the 62,000 tokens is really bullish, but 25% unlocked on day one is huge. As soon as I heard these details, I think I bought three off the floor and then a bunch of sweeps came in and it ran up to 1.3. I'm really trying to get more because I still think these are undervalued because if we jump back to the deck, you could see that the top round they are raising at is this 0.05 or even this one before since I don't know how many people are actually going to get in here for 0.0. 0425. When you invest in these and you lock up your money, you expect a multiple on your money. So let's say it goes up to 0.1, so 10 cents or 20 cents, which would be roughly a $275 million FDV, fully diluted market cap. I think that's totally possible for this token, especially that they have a ton of partnerships with Web2 brands and they have partnerships with Binance and Coinbase. I'm not saying they're launching through Binance and Coinbase, they just have partnerships with them. So it makes sense that their token would at least eventually be listed on those platforms. However, getting 62,000 tokens, if the price reaches 20 cents, that would be over $12,000 per NFT. And if you get 25% on day one, again, not confirmed, that's $3,000 on day one. And the current floor is like $4,000. So let's say this thing rips and goes to half a billion fully diluted market cap, you're getting like 22 thousand dollars per nft and you're getting almost fifty five hundred dollars on day one that is higher than the floor and then you still have what 15k locked for the next i don't know how long their vesting is for the nfts let's say two years that to me is just free money and you get an allocation into their pre-sale at better terms so to me this is just a no-brainer like i'm convincing myself to go buy more right i'm gonna go buy more after this video because it really feels like a no-brainer to get into this play please do your own research because don't just follow me i could be totally wrong about this i do know you're getting the 62,000 airdrop i have no idea if it's actually going to hit you know 20 cents or 30 cents whatever price i'm speculating that it's going to hit on the secondary market i am just making an assumption right that's what you have to do in these markets but if this actually plays out this could be a huge play and then you're getting enough to pay off the entirety of the cost of the nft the nft is not just going to go to zero because there's still going to be potentially 75 percent or more locked in the nft over time and you're just collecting that money as passive income. Now, the last token that I want to talk about that is not on Becker's list is going to be SOMO. Now, we've covered this project a ton of times. You guys know I am bullish on this game. However, they just announced that they are going to be the first launchpad partner for Portal. But even cooler than that, they actually just released a teaser trailer. Now, in my opinion, the trailer looks really cool. They have these characters. They're building a Pokemon-like game. We haven't seen any gameplay yet, so I still don't know what it's going to be, if it's going to look more more like Power World or something like that. But let's be real. Do people care about the game? No, they care about how much money they're going to get. So we don't know the terms. We don't know, other than the Portal Launchpad, how you're going to get involved in this game. I'm not going to tell you to go ahead and buy a Monolith because those are like 22 ETH, right? Very expensive to get in on this. I know they're going to have their generative mint eventually. I have no idea when that date is. So maybe holding the generative NFT is going to get you access to the pre-sale or something or get you a token airdrop. But hopefully there's other opportunities for us to be able to get in on these types of deals because this project obviously has a ton of hype especially with the connection similar to how you know an agency would launch these nft projects and everybody would try to get all the projects coming out of that agency arcadia worked on portal they are helping out with somo they are helping out with kibi right all these projects that are doing very well so people are just naturally making the association okay portal did well and they worked with arcadia therefore maybe somo or kibi are going to get binance because they already have that relationship with binance these are just the lines that people are drawing between these projects so that's my list for for now of upcoming IDOs attached to NFTs that I'm excited for. There's a ton more that I could talk about. Like I said, I'm going to be dropping a farming video in the next day or two. I'm also gonna be doing an upcoming whitelist video. I know everybody's been waiting for that one. I get the DMs, hey, when are you gonna talk about NFTs and whitelists again? So that's gonna be dropping in the next two, maybe I'll do two videos in the next two days. And then obviously I have the live show happening on Friday with Ash. So definitely don't miss that. If you enjoyed this video, if you want more videos about upcoming IDOs that I'm looking at that you should try to get into because there's opportunities to get in. Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, would you kindly hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification. Thank you for watching Crypto Gorilla. Peace.
Oh, 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 oh.